You have an interesting perspective on funding because SurveyMonkey has been profitable from the very beginning. Does that make you any more or less interested in all of these goings on? Well, we're most interested in how do we grow our business, and we very much believe in profitable, sustainable revenue growth. So what happened this week is we launched our whole new SurveyMonkey platform. Uh, we see it as an opportunity to take the voices of the, the consumers and the employees that you care about and turn that into actionable data. You know, as you know, Emily, we're all swimming in a, a sea of data. It plays out on social media, people talking about our products and our businesses, and it's those executives who can ask the question why and then use that data to take the actions they need to make their businesses better and that's where we've been playing for a long time. You've launched uh, something you call the People Powered Data Platform yes. and a new mission around curiosity. Yes. Explain this. So we think curiosity is the currency in business today. Our mission is to power the curious. We believe that you need to be serving the constituents, the customers, employees, and shareholders you care about. And so really what our platform does is we've added all this new features and functionality and solutions to help executives turn those voices into actionable data. And we're seeing this play out in politics, you're seeing it play out in businesses that people have very different voices depending where you are, what gender you are, what income bracket you're in, what education level you're at. And if you care, if you are asking the questions, if you're curious, those are the people who are executing, they're growing, and they're turning Fortune 500 companies from startups in a quicker time frame than ever. And you're carrying, you're, you're, you're covering the arrogant companies that aren't asking the questions, that aren't listening and being responsive to the market, and they're failing faster than ever. Now, you folks have said SurveyMonkey doesn't need to go public, especially because uh, of the profitability factor. Uh, on this, at the same time, we're seeing Snap and Blue Apron and these new tech IPOs uh, struggling in the public markets. Does that give you any pause in terms of if or when? to bring SurveyMonkey to market? It's a good question. As you mentioned, we've been profitable for a long time. We have a financial profile that is positioning us to go public. Uh, we have an institutional uh, shareholder base, and I'm very much a steward of, of our employee capital. Uh, so we do need to deliver a return to our shareholders. We've been operating like a public company with debt holders and in, adhering to quarterly conference calls with our debt holders. Um, we are positioning ourselves to go public if and when the markets um, are, are ready for us. Uh, we look very different than some of the companies that have had sustainable losses, and mm -hmm. I'm really happy with the way our income statement looks.